Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here. Today I'm bringing you Transfer Rumours slash Roundup Episode 3. Thanks for the support on this series. It's been terrific and I'm going to keep it daily for as long as I possibly can. And honestly, I mean that. But anyway, first we've got Zinchenko, who I probably should have mentioned yesterday because it came to light yesterday. Now, I don't know too much about him. I think he plays in the Ukrainian League. But City have sent scouts over for him. And this might be one that goes under the radar because he's quite young. And if he did join City, he might not get in their first team instantly. And it would just be a player that would, you know, train with the first team and stuff like that. Maybe get the occasional game. And then if he becomes great, then he'll get more games. Or it might just be one that they're scouting, waiting to see what happens. Um, as I say, I mean, I doubt many people have heard too much about him. But this is what often happens. Big clubs will go out to... Um, scout unknown talent try and bring them into the club so like we did it with Yanazai when he was 16 we brought him into the club and then no one heard of him until two three years um when he'd been playing with the club and then he came through the under 21 so we'll see what happens with it next one we've got Bonucci who is linked to Manchester United Manchester City and Chelsea he's been linked to Chelsea for quite some time but apparently Man United and Man City are interested now this is a centre-back that all three clubs should be interested in he is absolutely terrific but I just can't see it happening for any of these clubs I don't think Juventus will sell I don't think he wants to leave I reckon he'll be Juventus's future captain when Buffon retires because Buffon's roughly the same age as Chiellini I think so Benucci's 28 29 he's an experienced center back but as soon as Buffon eventually retires uh, Buffon might be a lot older than 34 come to think of it I'm not entirely sure but when he does I reckon Benucci is going to be the captain of UV so I just can't see it happening but if it does it's a fantastic signing for any of the clubs interested they are the three that are quoted to be interested but we'll see what happens with it the next one we've got Saul Nigel Saul I think for Atletico Madrid basically seeing that he isn't going to go anywhere. He's linked to Man United. Uh, again, he's a relatively young centre mid. He played well in the final against Real Madrid, but it, it it's just one of those that probably, if, if he does move, it won't be done until after the Euros anyway, even though I don't think he is in the Euro squad, so it could be done during it, but it's just usual stuff where players or clubs or agents come out and deny it until something solid happens. There's a solid bid accepted and then they go along with it. So we'll see what happens. This might just be a player that we're targeted to that we're not really 100% interested in. Or he's, he's in our, our list of targets, but we've got targets that are higher up the order. We'll, we'll see what happens, but we are linked to him. But they've, um, Atletico and Sal himself has kind of... I uh, pushed the rumours down a bit so we'll see what happens next one is uh, someone who's done the complete opposite and is basically praying for a move and that's uh, Musa Sissoko uh, Newcastle's who wants to go to Arsenal he's not happy with getting relegated he's wanted to go to Arsenal for 2-3 years now and Generally, do Arsenal really want him? Like, he seems pretty inconsistent. I mean, I think this would be a terrible buy for Arsenal, personally. I think they've got a lot of players similar to him. Uh, he is very lazy a lot of the time. So, I think it's just the player wishing for a move to Arsenal. He did say he wants to play for them, but then he also said that he wants to play in the Premier League. He says the Championship is below him, which... Fair enough, I suppose. That's not going to sit well with Newcastle fans, but I'm pretty sure a lot of players that do get relegated want to try and maintain in the Premier League, even if their club does go down. So we'll see what happens with this one, but I just can't see it happening. Like, I'd be I'd be shocked if Wenger actually made a bid, but stranger things have happened, I suppose. The next one, we've got Hector Bellerin, uh, rumoured to Barcelona or PSG. Both are interested now. Um... Arsenal are going to do whatever they can to keep this guy. He was fantastic last season and uh, he, he truly burst into the scene properly last season and was consistent, terrific for the entire year. So they're going to do everything to keep him. I think they'll keep him this season, but eventually I think the pull of Barcelona, especially after losing Dani Alves, I don't think it'll happen this year, but I reckon next year or the year after, I think Bellerin's destined to go to, um, to Barcelona. That's where he was originally from. I think it's just a little bit too much of a pull for Spanish players to return back to either Barcelona or Real Madrid. But this season, I think they should be able to keep him. Um, and then, well, I'm, I'm sure that delight Arsenal fans. I doubt he'd go to PSG. I mean, they are linked and I suppose they've got the money, but just doesn't seem like a right move. So I reckon he will leave, but not this season. And I reckon Arsenal can keep him, but see what happens. The next one we've got, I've wrote it down here, is Townsend. 
And again, another Newcastle player. We're going to be seeing a lot of these uh, for Villa, Newcastle and Norwich, I think. Mainly Newcastle, however, and Villa, I would suppose, because they've been in the Premier League for a number of years. Um, but yeah, Townsend's linked to Crystal Palace. I'm sure that'll go down very well uh, on Tyneside because of Pardew, the Pardew effect. But apparently he's got an 8 million release close, relegation release close. That means a Premier League club can come and take him for 8 million. Now, his performances last season proved that he can play certainly at a mid-table level Premier League club, if not a top end like Spurs, which is where he was originally from. So Palace, a lot of other teams I imagine would be interested. And if Townsend does want to leave, then they're going to find it very hard to keep him, especially with a release close. So I expect him to leave and Palace is probably a likely destination. I mean, they've got Zaha, Balassi, but especially if one of them leaves, they might need one. But because of the injuries, they need depth as well. So that is one that I expect to go through. Another one, Hector Herrera to Liverpool. Um, Porto's, I think he's Mexican. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think so. If not, I apologise. But um, he's a centre mid for Porto. And uh, this one's been rumoured for a while and it looks as though the transfer talks are stepping up. This is one I can certainly see happening. He's a, he's a solid centre mid dynamic. He's probably a better version of Henderson. Like He plays in the same role as Henderson. So I would imagine Klopp's trying to you know get better players and bigger depth. So this is a very likely transfer. The only thing I could maybe see putting it off is if Hector Herrera wants to maintain in the uh, Champions League. I think Porto made it. Um... Finishing third in Portuguese, does that allow you to get in the Champions League? I'm not sure, but if they are in Champions League, that might be the only slight downside. But I, I can see this deal going through, and I'm sure Liverpool fans would be delighted. Next one is one that I cannot see going through, and that's Higuain to Liverpool. Klopp was reportedly seen with his brother at the Argentina game, who is apparently, well, who is his agent. But it came to light that it wasn't actually his brother he was uh, sat with. But he did leave as soon as Higuain was substituted. That much is for definite. But um, I think it's the Liverpool Echo who came out and said uh, Liverpool aren't interested in Higuain. Don't take this the wrong way. But I, I think what they actually mean is they are interested in Higuain. But Higuain isn't interested in Liverpool. And considering the fee would be like £73 million, I just can't see it happening. I'm a Man United fan, of course, so I don't want it to happen, but I just don't see it happening regardless, especially for the money. I'm sure they're interested. I'm sure Klopp really wants him, and if they get him, then fair play to them because he is one of the best strikers in the world, but I just can't see it happening, so we'll see what happens. There's other clubs linked, of course, but they were the main ones today. Next one, we've got a Liverpool player going the opposite way, potentially, and that's Philip Coutinho, rumoured to be going to either PSG or Barcelona. PSG were linked quite a while ago. Barcelona yesterday, I think, is when they got linked. Now, Liverpool are going to, especially if it's Barca and PSG who put solid bids in, then they're going to have a hard time keeping Coutinho at uh, Anfield. So it just depends if there's actual solid interest. If they put bids in, then I can see Coutinho going. Uh, I'm sure Liverpool will accept a high bid, especially if the player does want to go, which I'm sure he would if it's PSG or Barca, more so Barca. But these players are linked quite a bit at the time. Uh, a lot of players are linked to both of these clubs. So it's whether there's solid interest. If there's solid interest, I expect him to leave. If not, then Coutinho will, of course, stay. But let me know what you think of this one. This one's one that, again, solid interest, yes. If there's not, then no, I doubt he will leave. Uh, and the last one is Lozano, who's a Mexican winger, I believe, quite young. Uh, pretty similar to Zinchenko. It would just be one of those that would go under the radar. We'd probably give him a bit more opportunities because our squad depth isn't as good as Manchester City's. So I reckon if we did sign him, he would get game time under Jose Mourinho, but... I don't know too much about him. I'm just reporting the link, so I'm not going to say I want him and sit and rave about him. Uh, I, I generally don't know too much about him, but if our scouts like what they see, then of course I'll back the player. We've made mistakes, of course. We've uh, made good signings as well, but I do trust Jose and uh, our scouting team. So if we get him, we get him. But uh, yeah, that's a wrap for today. Let me know if there's any other rumours you want me to cover tomorrow. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Continue the support on the series. Thanks, honestly. Appreciate it so much. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.